Hi there, welcome to the new lecture on Microsoft Intune. In this lecture, you will learn about how to get application version details from Microsoft Intune or Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Microsoft Intune has a mechanism to discover the applications from managed devices. That also includes all type of application. Yes, with a Win32 app format also it can detect. So this is very useful in terms of, let's say if you have an application like a Zscaler and you wanna you know overwrite that with a specific version name or you wanna target to only specific set of devices, it will be very useful, right? And I would call this as a software inventory also, right? Because it's almost the same. Intune will discover the application name, version, all of that stuff. And then it just provides the very similar to SCCM software inventory kind of report. So you may have a question, uh, what kind of reports you would be able to get it? Yes, you would be getting two different type of reports you could, you know, easily generate. The first one would be the, you could, you know, get the application version details directly from the Intune portal, meaning the entire list can be exported with a more detailed manner so that you could assess your applications or you could, you know, plan your app deployment with a fundamental upgradation or migration or could be any issues, all that can, you know, can be consolidated based on your existing application names and their versions and their compatibility in fact, right? Other one would be the, let's say you have a device, a dedicated device and you can get all the applications that are discovered on that device. So these are the two ways, meaning the first one will get all the applications that are discovered within your infrastructure uh, with a managed by Microsoft Intune. It's like complete consolidated software inventory. And the second uh, method per device based complete details you could able to get it. So these are the two different reports you should be able to get it. That being said, let's jump into the demonstration. The first one would be open up your Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center and point to apps and then click on monitor. I'm not talking about the reports. In fact, this section is under monitor. And if you see under monitor, you have app licenses, the number of licenses that are currently used, maybe directly from your Microsoft store or some other stores you would able to find out here. And this is where the discovered apps, this is the lecture that is focused on this specific point discovered apps this is gonna give you lot of applications that are currently found on your devices let's say i have avz antivirus free version of course this is my test tenant so you might find out most of them with a microsoft name or google name so let's say chrome i have a different set of versions like 107 103 99 and 102 let's say if i want to upgrade from uh, 199 to maybe the latest of 107. So in that situation, do I need to test my applications whether they are compatible for the upgradation directly from 99 to 103 or 107? Or do I need to first uninstall and install as a fresh? So these kind of, you know, are fundamental issues that might come up as part of your testing and you should be able to uh, test it in case if you have a discovered applications list along with a count of the number of devices. So I have a multiple devices with a multiple number of uh, softwares. Let's say if I go for the 14th page, I should be able to see here something called Zscaler, right? Yeah, I have a Zscaler with one client and five clients with the Teams machine-wide installer, not the user, right? It's a machine-wide, meaning per device based installation. So I might, you know, get it more details if I just click on that with the list of devices. Let's say if I want to you know, get more details of Microsoft's Zune video installed devices, if I just simply click on it, I would be able to get it, the device name and the user ID, as an email address and the operating system and operating system version. In case if it is a mobile device, I would be also getting the ME number of that device. That's good, right? And what if I want to export all of these number of records? Simply click on export and choose complete data 
with all the discovered app ag aggregated uh, data set or apps data so you should be able to you know, choose into the csv format that's a csv format that's gonna uh, export it for you as you can see it's just downloaded i should be able to unzip to find out more information from this specific file so if i just open up the csv format file i should have all that information which was showing in a consolidated way like the most important information would be the application name and application version and the count of that application number of devices it got installed all of that information it will be there this is very useful report in terms of if you're planning to push some kind of software that software might be already exist or maybe you have to upgrade in that situation this specific report will be very useful let's go back to another report where i want to know exactly on a specific device the number of applications that are available that can be pulled by going to the devices and select your device let's say if i select the windows device i would be you know, clicking on my windows device let's say if i click on this one ytvm01 this might have a lot of applications by going back to this device i should be able to click on discovered applications so there are in a couple of applications that are already available for example onedrive edge update edge these are the applications who are available if i select another device it might have a different list of applications on this specific device and you see here there are a lot of other applications are part of this for example chrome also part of the specific device and the machine wide teams and a lot of other applications got installed as part of uh, deployment or maybe it's already found as an installed state it's not just that you push it it also uh, discovered applications because it's a software inventory that will you know show up here and you should simply export this list so that uh, you should be able to open up an Excel and then simply find out the application name and the version. This is very useful in terms of planning. Let's try to pull this with Microsoft Graph API. So I will be you know, publishing this to my GitHub library, the entire script. So if you see here, this is where it's going to log uh, and it's a PowerShell script. And it's going to install Microsoft Graph FBI in case if it is not there to the current user credentials. This is where it's going to install later point. It's going to import that module and it's going to connect. Once it's connected, uh, it will try to grab all the devices with this command. And later point, it's going to populate the discovery with by using an array and it's going to group it uh, with a format of the outgrid of the PowerShell command so this is all the script which is available in my github library when you execute the first step it will ask you to connect to uh, your intent portal you need to have your global admin permissions or the internet admin permissions to give a consenting to connect with the Microsoft graph API if you want to take that risk to give a consent please do that too by giving the consent otherwise don't use the script but this is tested there's nothing that you know uh, i'm gonna hide it right so this is where you you're gonna give the microsoft graph api to use the powershell with the unverified you can give the consent on behalf of your organization and click on accept that's it boom uh, in my case i have you know uh, conditional access that's why it went uh, something went wrong, but it's gonna execute it. That's a simple thing and you can simply continue and It's gonna execute If you see here, it's actually connecting in the back end in a couple of minutes on my screen a PowerShell uh, grid will be you know, populated so that I could filter the required Applications by using the PowerShell grid so boom, this is the discovered apps in a grid format you see here all the applications i should be able to do it i should be able to even filter based on account and name let's say if i want to know filter with for the one drive what i'll do is i'll simply go to add criteria and i should be able to select the name i can simply type as a one drive 
simply it is populating right so that's how it's gonna work i hope this smart trick will be useful for you and let me know if you really like it and make sure that you should be you not know, downloading the script if you want directly from this uh, github library which is available there and by the way do also check out other documentation which is available on the same link of my github